Okay, friends, today we are going to talk a little bit about omni-channel content distribution. Now, to make sure that you guys know that I know what I'm talking about because that's really important. Um, my name is Ben Gothard. I'm the host of the Project Egg Show. Uh, I've published over 300 podcast episodes, and you can find them on all the major podcasting platforms. And I've had on billionaires, New York Times bestselling authors, Emmy Award winners, really incredible people. And I want to share some of what I've learned from doing hundreds of episodes and testing out uh, different content distribution methods. And I want to just show you uh, what I believe is the best way to go about it. So the whole point of this video is to really show you how you can leverage videos. We're going to uh, just pretend like my drawing's not terrible, but we're going to take videos and we're going to repurpose them. So we'll take one video and we're going to turn that into 30 different pieces of content. That's three zero different pieces of content. And that's going to be both in video, that's going to be in audio, and that's going to be in text. And the reason why it's important to have all three of these is because we basically get um, uh, we basically get a ton of different uh, promotion from other platforms. So the whole key to this is we basically want to take the same video and we want to put it onto other platforms and let those platforms market for us. And we want to tap into their traffic sources. Now the beauty is part of this whole process um, means putting it on some marketplaces. And so as a result, not only do we get it onto 30 different platforms, but those platforms will actually lead to uh, revenue. So that will lead to revenue both on the front end and then, and this is just like a bonus, but if you're really good at uh, selling and being able to sell, then you can actually drive traffic to your website. And if you're really, really good at marketing and selling, then that will actually lead to even more money because you can turn that traffic into additional dollars. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'm just going to kind of uh, make that part go away. So let's start out with our original content. So we need to have content originally. And this content is something that we are going to take time to really invest in and make sure uh, when I say invest, I mean, we're going to take the time to make it really strong content. Because if it's if the content's not good, then all the rest of the things that we're going to do in our omni channel content distribution strategy, it, we're going to be uh, basically distributing bad content so you have to have super high quality content here and so what I used to do this with um, in the very beginning of my content creation career was I would just film videos of myself and I would do either a screen share like this or I would do like floaty head where I would just put it on myself and just talk um, that then eventually transformed into doing interviews and um, now I do a mixture of interviews and uh, I also do some screen shares like this and some floaty heads um, so I kind of mix it all up just uh, you know whatever I feel is uh, is the best for that uh, for that time so anyways take the time to really put in some thought into what sort of content you want to create um, what I would suggest doing is think about what skills do you have uh, what are you really good at that other people may not be good at or what are you passionate about? Like, what are you just really excited to talk about? Um, so like for, for an example, like a skill could be, you could be really good at investing. And so you can talk a little bit about investing or you could be really good at um, uh, fishing, for example, and catching fish. So that could be a really good one. Or uh, you could be really passionate about, honestly, you could be passionate about family. And so, you know, you want to talk about the fam uh, and you want to do, you know, a video about how to make sure to stay close to your family. You know, whatever whatever it is that you feel like you have this this uh, powerful uh, grasp of something where you can really explain in depth. Like, for example, content uh, distribution and repurposing is something that I love. I mean, I love uh, making content. 
accessible to a lot of different people. Um, that's just something that, that brings me a lot of joy. Uh, so anyways, you can talk about any of these things you could do, uh, even for gaming, you could do, you could use this for gaming. Um, but let's just say for the sake of the example that what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about an interview style video talk show because that's the, uh, this is the scenario that I have probably the most experience of, uh, out of anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so we'll start off with our, with our talk show. So we have an interview based talk show here. And what we're going to do is we're going to think through now, do we want to, do we want to have, um, a live stream or do we want to have a pre-recorded? Right, so we can either do pre-recorded, or we can do um, we can do it live. And so, if you want to do something pre-recorded, what I would suggest is just use Zoom. Just use Zoom, and they have like I know it's for video conferencing, but if you just hop into Zoom and record yourself, you can just do a solo Zoom call, and they have some really nice features. So you could hop into Zoom. Um, some other alternatives uh, are Ecamm Live. I know I'm not talking about going live, but you can put on overlays around your videos. So like an overlay would be like like a logo. You know, you can have like your logo on the top right or whatever, and just make it look really nice. Um, so Ecamm is a good uh, a good tool to use. And then another one um, is uh, OBS, and th this one's free as well. And so uh, this one's paid. This one's free. Uh, this one's free. This has a premium, um, and I don't actually know if OBS has a premium. Um, but so you have you have options here. Now, if you're just getting started, you can and you have like let's say you have a Mac, you can just use your uh, you can just use your QuickTime, um, just use your QuickTime screen record or your QuickTime uh, movie recording or whatever. Just do what you need to do to be able to record your your videos. Um, oh, I realized this is, uh, I'm saying, uh, live and pre-recorded. What we're talking about here, this is actually for pre-recorded. Um, so all this stuff is really, really good if you want to do pre-recorded. Now for live, we'll talk about over here. And I know that that may have been a bit confusing, but all these things are, um, applicable for both in, uh, except for this quick time here, they're applicable for both. But as far as like just getting started, Zoom you can go download and just record yourself. Ecamm you can record yourself. OBS you can record yourself with cool overlays, and then QuickTime you can record yourself. And so you can record it, and then you can upload it to the platforms that we're going to talk about. So just want to clear that up. Now for live streaming, uh, you have a couple different options here. Uh, again, you have your you have your OBS. That's always um, that's always an option here. You also have your Ecamm Live. That's what it was actually uh, built for, Ecamm Live. Um, I really love the team at Ecamm. They're they're really, really helpful, and they build great products. Uh, Zoom also, you can use this for live streaming. Now, the key here is, oh, and by the way, for Zoom live streaming, this is probably your most expensive bet. Um, this is going to be your moderate, and this one is, again, free. So you may be saying, well, how do I actually do that? So when you're live streaming, what I would suggest is you use a tool. And, and by the way, all these are to capture the screen, but then you actually need to send that to some sort of live streaming um, mechanism, which I'm, gonna about, which I'm about to tell you. So, uh, okay. So we're going to use a tool called Restream. And Restream is amazing, 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 amazing. So if we hop on over here to Restream, you can see I have all my different channels set up, but it's for you can use this for free, right? So you go to you go to Restream.io, and you go to click Add Channel, and then you can add all of these incredible platforms, all of them, and you can do custom. So this is like hooking it up to extra platforms that they haven't integrated fully with, and it's unbelievable how much they give you for free. So what this means is you can go live from one of these platforms that we talked about and you can send your stream 
into Restream. It's really easy to set up. It takes like five minutes to figure it all out. And then it takes probably about 30 to 45 minutes to set up all of these platforms. I know because I've done it. Um, but basically, you stream from your, uh, let's just say, for example, OBS. You would hook up OBS to Restream, and there's plenty of instructions on how to do it. Just Google it. And so you record with OBS. As you're recording, you're sending that recording to like a live stream to Restream. And from Restream, it puts it onto all of the platforms that you've set up at the same time. So you essentially can be everywhere at once. And some of the, uh, some of the benefits of that are you get to basically be, like you get to be omnipresent. And the whole point of this video is to show you how to do um, how to do omni-channel content distribution, right? So this is how to how you get on all of the different channels all at once. And another byproduct of this is you get to see where your audience is, right? I mean, you may start to do this, and you may see, okay, LinkedIn rock solid for what I'm trying to do. Twitch, meh. Or you could, or or it could be totally the opposite. It could be Twitch is just rock solid, Mixer's rock solid, but LinkedIn and Facebook are just not performing. So you get to basically test all of these platforms at the same time, and look, whichever ones are performing for you, go back in there and make your uh, make your profile look a bit nicer. Make sure you understand natively how to use each of these a little bit more in depth, and just make it look really nice. Like test it with Restream. Once you've seen some traction on your content, then go into those platforms and make it a little bit nicer. So that's kind of how you hedge your bet there uh, and something that I've done. So Restream puts it out to all the different channels, all the different channels, all the different channels. Now for my podcast, I was using Restream at first to do just a few channels. And then I was like, wait a second, why wouldn't I go on as many as I possibly can? So now I have an 18 channel uh, stream every time I go live which seriously increases my um, my uh, number of views and the n not only the number of platforms that I can go on because something like a something like a uh, like a smash cast I'm not gonna go on there and I'm not gonna put it on there uh, myself after every um, and I'm not gonna have my team go out and put it on there after every show but if I can broadcast their live and I don't have to do any sort of admin work to get it there then I get I basically unlock extra platforms for myself because it's way easier. Another uh, advantage to live streaming is you don't have any production costs. So there's no editing costs. There's no um, there's no effects. There's no uh, balancing production. There's no extra costs. Uh, that being said, if you mess up, you mess up, and it's there for everybody to see. But that's fine because. You're putting forth the effort here, and if you just keep doing it, you'll get better and better and better. Of course, with a pre-recorded, you can, you know, you have a higher production value. You can add in some special effects. You can, you know, do some do some fancier things to get higher production value, uh, and that's with your pre-recorded, and that's great and all, but you don't need that. Uh, I, I really uh, never did that when I was just pre-recording my show anyways. I would just maybe clean it up a little bit and anytime I tried to clean it up, it sounded worse than if I just let it happen and just, just let it go live. So anyways, this is your initial content um, strategy, right? You want to decide, do I want to pre-record it or do I want to live stream it? And so once you have your initial, con your initial piece of content, which is going to be a video, you can have your video right here. Now you have your video, okay? Now it's time to put it onto all of your platforms. So let's start, we have our initial video. Let's start with all of our video platforms, okay? So on video, we have a few things to talk about here. Uh, if you used Restream to put it on all of the channels, then you've saved yourself a lot of time. But just for the sake of it, let's talk about some of the bigger ones. Now, by no means is this an exhaustive list. I just want to show you the power of content distribution and kind of open your eyes to what it really entails and how cool it really, really can be. Okay, so for video, we want to take the same video that we've done, that we just did, okay, and we want to start publishing it as a video, obviously, onto all the different channels. You got to hit your Facebook you got to hit your Facebook. It's just, it's critical. There's billions of people on there. You got to hit your YouTube, okay? 
Now, when you're putting it on Facebook and YouTube, um, make sure that for Facebook, you're going in and you're editing your settings and you're making it look nice and you're doing the things you need to do for Facebook. Make sure you're going into YouTube and you're paying attention to your tags, your video titles, your thumbnail. Uh, and by the way, just as a side note, um, for thumbnails, go to canva.com. Um, it's rad and it's free. It's awesome. Okay, so go to Facebook, put it on YouTube. But then here's where it starts to get really interesting. You can actually go to Amazon uh, and it's either direct video or video direct or something like that. But you can just search it. So let's go search it. Amazon video direct. Okay, this one, Prime Video Direct. So videodirect.amazon.com. Okay, and you can go on to this site here and you can actually sell your uh, videos. You can sell them, okay? So when people pay for Prime, um, you know how they can go in and um, you get, like, you basically get a bunch of free videos and stuff with Prime? Well, this is how you put your videos into that, and people can actually buy it straight up. So let's just take a look. Um, I do zero maintenance on this, and I just kind of play around with it. And let's be real. I don't put that much effort into it because... Um, I just don't, right? But I know that this exists, and I know that you can um, do pretty well in it. But let's actually look at some of the earnings, right? So just just in February, right? February 2020, um, it's at the end of February. I've done nothing for this as far as, like, maintenance. I put a few videos up here to test it um, months ago. And, you know, it's it's already driving some traffic or uh, uh, driving some revenue rather. So you can go in It take. It doesn't take that long to just put in a few videos. And honestly, I don't do a good enough job of this. I just want to make sure you know that this is here. Right. And so you you can literally get paid just by putting your videos up here because Amazon's bringing you the traffic. And so you may say, well, if people are. Um, if people can find it on YouTube, why would I also put it on Amazon Video Direct and or Prime Video Direct? And the reason why you might want to do this is because you can and because Amazon is putting this in front of their customers. So you get to tap into their customer base and it's it's up to the individual. If the individual wants to rent or buy this video, that is their prerogative. They could go to YouTube and they could find it, or Facebook, however you... I mean, you may decide, I only want to put it on Amazon, I don't want to put it on Facebook or YouTube, and I'm sure you could make a career just by putting it on Amazon Video Direct, or uh, Prime Video Direct, but it's okay, um, it's okay to have it on all of them, because it's the consumer's prerogative to choose how and in what capacity they want to consume your content, right? You're just putting it out there for them so they have the options. So you can put it out on Amazon Video Direct, and you can do some really cool things like with um, with different series. You can have a landing page and subscriptions and whatnot, so I'd suggest digging into this. Um, this is seriously under, uh, like nobody knows about this. Seriously untapped potential here. Uh, but next, I'm going to make sure we stay in the camera frame here. We don't need the camera thing. Um, okay, so we have next Amazon, um, after Amazon Video Direct, we can talk about Amazon as a DVD, okay? You may say, oh my gosh, people buy DVDs still? Yes. Okay, so I don't remember exactly the name of it, but um, it's like Amazon DVD uh, selling DVD or something like that. Um, but it is... No, we don't want to go on Amazon.com. Um, we want to. We want to actually go to. It's not Seller Central. Um, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think of the name of this. It's like. Uh, I can't think of the name. But it's where it's where Create Space. Um, Create Space actually went. So Create Space used to be um, Amazon's like hardcover publishing service oh this is it amazon media on demand this is what we want okay so here we can actually turn our um we can turn our media into physical media products so disc titles um 
and we can do some really really cool things really really cool things so uh, I have some friends who really use this uh, way better than I do and they make a killing on it so like your DVDs your uh, your CDs all of like the physical media products uh, it's truly incredible how many people still buy things like this and it's free to do you can just put it on here for free so definitely check out media on demand and that covers the DVD and then we'll talk about it again a little bit later on with the CD so we have a platform there then we have Vimeo and Vimeo is like it's kind of like a YouTube alternative but not not as much um, it's more of like a, well there, there are really two parts to it so Vimeo you can use it as in, in one of my businesses what I use it as is uh, a place to securely store my videos that I don't want on YouTube so when you store a video on YouTube yeah you can use private or unlisted but if people get the URL um, they can look at it and YouTube also recommends other videos and uh, it's kind of distracting but Vimeo they have a really clean uh, they have an ability to really cleanly uh, showcase your videos. So I use that for some of like, you know, like a sales letter or like a, you know, like a webinar or something like that. But also they have a thing on Vimeo and let's go, let's actually just go check it out. Okay, so we'll be here and let's check out video. So they have, they're trying to get you to, uh, they're trying to get you to, buy stuff here of course but you can go with Vimeo um, basic and that one is free and so they will also give you the ability if we just go to Vimeo.com we don't want to upgrade we don't want to upgrade but they have a whole community here and so in their community they can uh, they can help you um, they can help you get more traffic right and so they can they can give you more traffic and with over 150 million creators and brands that's I mean that's pretty substantial so they have a lot of people on their platform let's just check out their numbers here just to back up what I'm saying yeah so they're getting about 90 million monthly visits that's pretty substantial by the way if you don't use similar web as a Chrome extension definitely check that out uh, it tells you a lot of interesting information about your uh, the about any websites that you go and visit so I'd suggest using this to research competitors anyways so Vimeo you can put it in here and you'll just have to go and figure it out because I'm not going to do a deep dive into Vimeo but you can put it here and in the description of the video you can add a call to action so on Vimeo similar to YouTube if you have something that you want to sell or you want to drive traffic to your site you could do that in the description so that's video then there's something called gum road okay and this is more of a uh, like a marketplace and they're like an online platform um, that basically gives you e-commerce potential right and the beauty of it is is that they're actually free or at least the last time I checked it's free yeah free to get started okay and so they basically what they do is they want to make some money on the payment processing and then of course they'll charge you a little bit once you get up and running for professional but it, it's really easy right and it's free and they have their own built-in community so they'll help you actually sell stuff to their community of, uh, of, of people and so you can go here and you can put your video up here for sale and then you'll have your own little gumroad uh, storefront and whatnot it's awesome it's a really really strong platform to use next that uh, we're gonna talk about something that I don't really have that much experience on but I want to just tell you about it it's called Newsflare okay and what Newsflare is is you basically are able to sell your videos um, and get paid right so they are trying to license video to media companies right and so if you are good at shooting videos then you can sell your videos through Newsflare so let's say like some like you know on the, like on the news how they have really good footage of things well they might come so like NBC may say oh wow 
we have this breaking story, but we have to get some high quality footage on this. They may come to News Flare and look for footage on the, you know, a specific event or something that somebody just shot and uploaded and wants to sell, so they'll pay for that licensing. So it's not all of your content is going to be a good fit for News Flare, but it is there for you and you do have that uh, available to you. So the next is Udemy. And Udemy, you may say, well, Udemy is for course creators, right? And I would say, yeah, it is. And you are uh, potentially a course creator. So on Udemy, what they let you do is, let's go check out Udemy. Udemy is like a marketplace for courses. So basically what they, what you want to do is, uh, as a creator, you want to sign up and you want to teach on Udemy. So you want to basically sell your courses. So let's say you have a, let's say you do a, a really nice video or you do an interview with somebody and they really break down a certain topic. Well, you might want to make a course for like, I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Like if, if it's an hour of your time, the production value is really high. Um, you can break that down into little modules based on what you actually talked about during that interview. And you can put it on Udemy as a course and they'll help you sell it because they want to sell more. Okay, so I'm not saying you have to do all these uh, platforms, and I'm not saying all of these platforms are uh, an exhaustive list, but I just want you to get thinking in terms of I can take my video and I can put it on all these different platforms, and I can make it really, 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 um, I, I can make it really accessible to the world by leveraging all of these different platforms and their audiences. Okay, so. Definitely don't stop here. Keep going. And the, the, the ones you really want to look for are the, the Amazons and the YouTubes. The, the platforms with huge amounts of traffic that they want to send to you uh, and that you can get paid from. So YouTube, you can get paid with a small amount with their uh, by allowing ads to be placed on your videos. And you can drive traffic from YouTube to your own offers. But then Amazon, they can literally buy your uh, both the Video Direct and the DVD. Um, they can literally buy your stuff off of Amazon and so you get paid directly right now you can talk about a, a, your brand and drive traffic here but you can't include any links in the description so and you can't you also can't um, really mention that many other links so what you might consider is providing so much value with these videos that people can't help themselves they have to research you more Right, so just do such a good job here that it's just natural thing for them to keep going with you and to, to get the next uh, the next step would be to look you up. Okay, so once we have our video stuff done, then what we want to do is we want to take that video and we want to remove just the audio version of it. And why do we want to do that? Well, the beauty of a video, especially an interview, is the real gold is in what the people are saying, right? So we want to basically make sure that we are allowing that content to live on through an audio format because some people would much prefer listening to something than watch a video and they simply don't want to sit there and look at a video right like they may not want to watch a youtube video they may just want to listen to something or they're in their car or they're on their way to work or they're traveling so on and so forth so we need to have it in audio format and the easiest way to do that is to publish it as a podcast and another thing that i'll tell you about in just a second so let's start with podcast so with podcasting what you basically need to do is you need to find a media host, like a podcast host, and the easiest one and the cheapest one is called Anchor.fm. So they have, I think I'm just playing around with this with it with one of my podcasts. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, I moved I moved this one over uh, very recently, um, and so basically what you can do is. Uh, as you're uh, as you're putting out your podcast here, um, actually, let me log out so you can see how easy it is from the very beginning. So you're gonna want to log out here, or you can log out here. Okay, and so just going to Anchor, it's super easy to set this up, right? So you literally just click make your podcast, 
and they handle everything for you. Like they handle everything for you. You can literally publish your podcast here and it'll put it on all the big podcasting channels and then they'll help match you up with sponsorships and they'll give you some analytics. It's super duper easy. So anyways, you can use Anchor, you can use SoundCloud, you can use Libsyn, you can use, um, uh, what's what's the other one? Buzzsprout. You can, there are a ton of them. There are a ton of good podcast hosts. But basically, the reason you want a podcast host is they will uh, hold all of the media for you, and they will allow you to just upload all of your content there, and they'll handle the distribution. They'll make sure their, their server runs quickly. They'll give you some really cool analytics. And so it, there's a lot of benefits to this over like putting it on your own website, for example. So you would take the video and you would put it as a podcast onto your podcasting platform. So I would suggest using Anchor. And on Anchor, that's going to allow you to blast it out to your um, iTunes, which is the biggest right now um, podcasting platform uh, to Google, to Spotify, who actually owns Anchor as of this recording. Um, it'll it'll blast it out on Overcat, like a, a ton of the the big uh, podcasting platforms. And again, you don't have to do anything other than upload your video to Anchor once, or upload your audio to Anchor once, and it'll automatically update all of these once you've set it up. It doesn't take that long to set up. Okay, so this is huge, right? It uses it uses an RSS feed, which means these all these like external platforms they are reading your uh they're basically reading what you're what you're putting out on anchor on like an hourly basis or it might even be more frequent than that and they're saying okay anytime there's a new update on anchor we want to copy that update on our platform to make sure we have the most up-to-date version of this anchor podcast and they're bringing you traffic so uh, oh and just like youtube you can put stuff in the description so you can drive traffic to your website. So this is super rad, okay? So you want to have it as a podcast. And you want to make sure it goes on all the different platforms which Anchor will help you do. Then, once you have your podcast set up, then you want to sell this as an audiobook, okay? You want to sell this as an audiobook. And the reason is people will purchase your audiobook because we're going to be leveraging Amazon again, okay? And the way to do this, you want to to put it as an audiobook, you want to sell it on Audible, okay? You want to sell it on Audible. And um, the way you do that is by going to acx.org, I think it is. Maybe it's maybe it's acx.com. Yeah, here it is. So what you do is you just go here and you put it on ACX and then it will automatically sell your book on all of these different, uh, your audiobook on all these different platforms. And these are huge platforms. These are huge platforms. This represents a significant portion of the world. Just, just these three names right here. Okay. It's huge, right? It's huge. So you put it on ACX, super easy, and then you can start making money from that, and this never goes away. This is passive income forever, okay? So you put it there, but then what you can do is, and this is the beauty of it. I have my notes here that I want to grab um, just to make sure I'm, I'm accurate here. But then you can go back onto something like a Gumroad, and you can put your audiobook here again. You may say, well, I just put my video up here. Yeah, but audiobook is a different product. So you can put multiple different products here, right? Then you can also visit other platforms that'll apply to both audio and video uh, that I forgot to cover before. So Gumroad's one of those where anytime you create a new product, um, you can put it on in all of its versions there. You can also put it on Envato, okay? And now we're selling digital assets here. Um, this one's awesome. I'm not sure why it just went there, okay here so you can get started here uh it's super duper easy and it will uh, give you access to uh their entire um their entire community right 
that and that's what you really want you want to work with them and again put your videos here put your audiobooks here and then the the third realm we'll talk about uh it, it'll also go here so put that on in vato okay so i'll put it here and then um and vato is going to carry over gum road's going to carry over okay so we're going to put them on both uh then there's also zibit zibit is a really cool way um to get access to even more people right because they have a whole marketplace and so they have tons and tons and tons of stuff um and the beauty is a lot of it's focused on like handmade stuff so when you put in a piece of uh, piece of information like an information product you really stand out because most people aren't doing that on zibit so you give yourself a really interesting um you give yourself a really interesting advantage and again zibit can be video and that all that all carry over here okay so we'll do um zibit and then there's also bonanza okay and bonanza is super super cool as well it's very similar to uh like a zibit situation where because you're selling info products um you can uh because you're selling info products and everybody else is selling this kind of stuff you really get to stand out you really get to stand out and so again we want to make sure that ben that using bonanza we do our video and we do our audiobooks so now that we have it as an as a podcast and an audiobook now we want to make sure that we're going over here and we're taking advantage of the third realm which is text okay so we want to take this text and we're going to bring this arrow over here because we have our content in video format and audio format we need it in text format okay so not only um do we want to make sure it's in text format but we want to format this a little bit cleaner uh in the form of of a book right so we're literally going to turn each video into a book okay and it's really easy to do this i mean just go look at any book you've ever you've ever purchased or go look at an online book and just look at how they do the title table of contents the, all the copyright information you don't need to worry about uh, like the intricacies of it just put some basic information there um, and I'll tell you how to get a free ISBN number um, which is important for books that'll make sense as you go through the process but basically you want to turn it into a book okay and you may say well I just have a video um, I don't have the text of it well the beauty is if you go into YouTube they'll auto transcribe it for you or you could go to something like Temi okay and what Temi is is they do text uh, or audio to text transcription and it's 10 cents per minute so it's really not that expensive it's really not that expensive and I'm gonna get out my handy dandy calculator here and I'm going to actually um, do some math here so let's say we do a 60 minute video times 10 cents it's six dollars per video okay if you're doing an hour long that is super duper easy to do right so you you'll come in here you could download the transcript it's super duper easy um and you, you might just need to edit it a little bit to clean it up but that's super easy to do so go ahead and get your book your uh, words from a temi or if you want to spend more money uh you could go to rev and there's rev.com this one is a dollar a minute um, but it's going to be, it's going to take less time to, it's going to take less time to, um, to, uh, edit it afterwards. Okay. So anyways, you have Tammy, you have Rev, I'm sure, um, Rev, I'm sure there are other things. YouTube also has a built in thing, which you can play. You go look for YouTube transcriptions. You can download those. Those are going to be the least, uh, accurate. So anyways, once you have your book, we want to go and we want to put it on back on Amazon through KDP. Okay, Kindle Direct Publishing. Now, KDP is incredible. Okay, it's incredible. They basically let you publish for free. Um, they let you publish your stuff for free. Okay, and what's beautiful is you can get up to 70% of your royalties, and you can publish as ebook and paperback books for free, totally for free. And it'll put it on sale to their customers in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Germany, India, France, blah, 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 blah. So many different cool.
cool things here, right? So definitely sign up for KDP and then go through the process of making a Kindle book and making a paperback book, okay? Well, once you put it uh, into KDP, then you can do similar things on Lulu and Lulu Publishing, self-publishing. Um, this one is awesome. You can publish for free and it is very, very similar and they'll also help you sell uh, your books as well. So you can put a Lulu, you can put it on Scribd, which is cool. Um, and you'll just, if you, if you need a help finding um, how to actually work with them, just Google it and, and just um, figure it out a little bit. Uh, it's, it's definitely there. So you can use Scribd, you can use Kobo to publish your stuff. Okay, you can use Kobo. You can use something called Smashwords. This is like an aggregator where you publish to one and it puts it on a bunch of them. Um, so, you know, definitely make sure you're not duplicating it. And then all, you can also put it on to Book Baby. I believe this is a good one as well. And yeah, there you go. Self-publishing, book printing, so on and so forth. So you put it on all those places, but then this is your secret weapon, okay? This is what nobody else is going to do. And if you take the time to do this, you're going to set yourself miles apart. You can literally go to babblecube.com, okay? And you can get people to translate your book for you for free, they will translate your book for you for free, and then Babelcube will help you sell it internationally in different languages. But then you can take your you can take your Babelcube uh, translated book, and you can republish it on all the different on all the different things. So there's KDP, there's Lulu, there's Scribe, there's Kobo, there's Smashwords, there's Book Baby. And then there's Babel Cube, and then once you get it in a different language, then you put it back onto all these things as a in a different language, right? And so that way you're getting massive, massive numbers of products. And then all these all these platforms over here, like your Gumroad, like your Envato, like your Zibit, like your Bonanza, you bring it back and you sell your first book, both ebook and paperback, as well as the Babel Cube versions uh, in all the different languages on all these platforms and all these platforms in um, as an ebook and as a paperback book. So essentially, this one video has turned into an empire of content. All of this stuff driving money to you the monies is going to you and then once you do this you're sitting there and you're like oh my gosh I'm so happy because I had no idea that this was even possible and that this is what a lot of the 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 big players were doing and they're not even doing it that well because they haven't taken the time to figure this all out and so now I know something that most people don't know. And 99% of people are just going to see this and they're going to say, oh my gosh, it's a great idea. And they're not going to do anything about it. They're not going to do anything about it because this takes work um, and it takes time, right? But if you can really master this, think of how much of an advantage you'll have over everybody else on the market who's not willing to do this your content will go so much further than anybody else it will be impossible to stop you and it will be very very hard to catch up with you because look at all this once you have a system for getting everything out here every time you do a video it goes out on all these different platforms and all these different channels this is way over 30 pieces of content I said 30 because that sounded like a good number. This is a lot. This is at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and this is like another 10. So now we're at like 20 something. And another 4 here. So that's like 25 ish. And then as a book, we could put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. So that's like over 30 already. And then you have paperback books. And then you have all the different languages. So that's at least 40, maybe even 50 different platforms from one video.
one video it's crazy it's crazy but i'm not done yet i wanted to over deliver and i want to make sure that y'all know uh how to really do this right so you take all this stuff okay you're putting out this big video and this is the full video you're putting out there but then what you want to do is you want to take the same thing and you want to chop it up into micro content and you want to put that onto social you want to put that onto social okay and if you're super advanced you'll use this micro content to drive on social so like for example you can take your video you can do a two minute video clip out of your 60 minute video you could put it on social like on instagram tv you could put that again on youtube you could put that you could and probably some of these others you could put that on pinterest you could put that on snapchat twitter uh Facebook, whatever, and then you could use the the social traffic to drive traffic um, to your other money makers, right? So whether that be to your Amazon stuff, to your books, to your podcast, whatever. But you make the content, put it on all the platforms, break it down um, into micro content, put that on social, and then use that to promote all this other stuff. So I guarantee you, 99% of people are not going to do this. But if you are actually the kind of person that's going to take action on this i would love for you to take this model and i would love for you to run with it okay and i'd like to share an idea with you that if you could pull this off you would be one of the wealthiest people on the internet okay if you could build a company that could provide this omni-channel content distribution strategy as a service for a reasonable price where all your clients have to do the only thing they need to do is submit a video to you and you do the rest and i'm not i don't know i haven't thought through all the logistics of that but basically like you would systematize all these and you'd bring in low dollar per hour uh virtual assistants to make all this work and then you would basically log into all their accounts and or something somehow you'd need to figure that out but if you could turn this into a service you you would you would be a billionaire i mean you would be a billionaire every single content creator on the planet needs this they don't know the extent of it most of them might put it on facebook and youtube and they're like i'm an omni-channel content distribution master and they have no freaking clue they have n absolutely no clue i go to masterminds all the time and people do not know anything about this i'm like i'm like y'all are making so much money and you're focusing on one or two platforms and there's so much more traffic out there that if you could tap into it and do it really well you would you would multiply your profits by a ridiculous amount but they don't know how to get really good at all these platforms so that is my uh, message for you for today this has so much potential in it for you and it's not necessarily that these are the exact platforms you want to use um, it's that I just want you to be aware that there's this whole other world out there of media and content distribution and repurposing that, again, 99% of people don't know about it. And even the 1% that knows about it, 99% of those people are not going to do it. They're not going to do it. So you have a roadmap here. I'm interested to see what happens. Have a good one.